I mean, I've looked at... Mm, Looked a little into Impact Wrestling, and before my thoughts on them were that they were an old people show. It's basically WWE's retirement home, which is what I was saying on JTV a lot back when that was my platform for wrestling and shit like that. Problem is that that's a retarded ass statement. It's ridiculous. I mean, that's just not a way to look at it. I mean, was I like, saying that I was having fun watching this episode? This go home show for a pay per view, I don't know, that's right before Bound for Glory? Well, it's the pay per view before Bound for Glory. That's what it's basically. That's what it basically is, right? It's that go home show. However, you know what? I was feeling this one. I wasn't entertained the way I was hoping to be when I'd watched WWE. Like, when I was watching WWE, I'd constantly hope to be surprised, but never get surprised. Here, I'm just trying something new. And thus, I don't get the disappointment. So, I'm a little bias here. Well, not bias. Actually, quite the opposite. I'm a bit of a control group here. I haven't been broken down by an experiment yet, so... It's not like I'm going to get a 100% reaction that's... The average person is going to get... person from the IWC that tries to watch all these different shows. But aside from that, it really isn't that bad. I mean, every time I watch the WWE, I feel like it's some kid's birthday party. That's how I freaking feel, because every day's a fucking celebration for something. Some accolade that they ascended. However, whatever accolade they ascend, it's not really an interesting accolade. I mean, even the 1,000th episode of Raw that they were pushing forward... I understand that they've been running for quite a while now. That's very interesting. However, I want to see something like ambitious, like what they were doing back in the Attitude Era. And by the way, I wasn't watching wrestling in the Attitude Era, or that much in the Ruthless Aggression Era. I really started now in the PG Era, so basically, I'm not biased that way either. I just want something that's really ambitious. I'm trying to compete against WCW. Why can't they do that now? Why can't they just wait till football season and throw something interesting at us? Throw something interesting at us for the rest of the way, like hockey season too. Just try to beat them in ratings. Try to compete, not be a monopoly that they really aren't. Because... We could watch something else. We don't have to tune in to Monday Night Raw every Monday at 9 p.m. I can find you five or six other things I could do or watch if it's really boring me that much. At least with this company, I mean, I s saw basically the second hour. I didn't see the first hour, so I saw AJ Styles versus Kurt Angle. It was a pretty decent match. I mean, it's like Schlag Daddy says. It's they're throwing finishers around, which isn't my cup of tea. But all right, no ring ring storytelling ability. It's still pretty fucking interesting. The basic. I mean, it's not just that the WWE is basically this company that tries to be what it isn't and it always acts like it's a big birthday party but with this impact shit at least there's something new that I can think about cause the Kurt Angle in Impact is the same Kurt Angle I knew from back then it isn't like in the WWE where in the later half Kurt Angle is this bitter asshole 
or the asshole that people usually don't like, or in the earlier half where he was this nerdy, funny, goofy, nice guy, which I actually kind of liked. Um, even when he's heel, he has that kind of character. There's just... He's a different character here, so it's something that I can look forward to analyzing. Along with all the other older faces that I'm seeing now, which I can try and psychoanalyze and characterize and do all this shit to try to understand them and understand the way they're being used and whether it's the right way or the wrong way. Seeing how their feuds work and shit of that nature. I mean, that's what I want to fucking see. I want to see something that compels me to do that. Uh, I also saw another news. I also saw that UFC shit. What was it? Let's see. UFC Uncensored? Or. I mean, I don't follow MMA that much, but UFC, it was, it was a show that was one hour long and featured them. Um, Fighting. It wasn't that hour-long show where they started interviewing each other on news and shit like that. That was actually pretty cool. I mean, I'm not going to speak much on that because UFC is a different kind of thing where I can't just psychoanalyze everybody and try to see how they could all be booked. It's, it is what it is. It's actual fighting and shit. And you know what? I actually fucking liked it, even though it seemed a little silly. Like, it was a giant snuggle fest. But I guess that's how fighting is like when you're in a sport and you're trying to take your breath into account. You don't want to lose stamina and shit, going all out and getting tired. Because belting out for... The entirety of a fight will get you tired in 40 seconds. And that's something I know from experience. The little experience I have. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's me trying to put things into perspective. Instead of being bitter, I'm trying to look for a fucking solution. A solution to what I'm lacking. And that's something I can fucking do. Alright guys, so peace.